hey guys and welcome back to my channel today i'll be doing a blending leave out tutorial as well as how to create baby hairs on a natural leave out now i did not do the uh quick weave process on camera because i've done a few videos with how to um you know glue in your tracks and everything like that now this is for 30 inch bundles from my raw hair collection and um I just went ahead and uh, bonded all of that in and now I'm just going to jump straight into uh, blending the natural leave out and creating the baby hairs. Now to use, um, to blend the leave out, I did use my uh, Glam Wax Stick and on the edge, con um, on the baby hairs, sorry guys, I use my edge control which we'll be releasing um, later on soon after this whole coronavirus mess gets situated and shipping gets back on track. But um, as I mentioned, I will be using two of those products to really get the main part of the slayage, you know, completed and done. Now, as you can see, her leave out is completely natural. Um, and I'm going to use my Glam Wax Stick as I mentioned. Now, this Glam Wax Stick does act as a heat protectant. Um, I have done a leave out video before and people complained about um heat damage and this and so forth about what can happen but to be honest guys it is no way that you will be able to create um a smooth um you know pressed out leave out without any heat like it is impossible whether you are using a blow dryer to blow dryer straight and everything like that like you will have to use heat so let's just get that whole you not supposed to put heat on a person's hair or it's going to get fried because it's like how else did you expect your leave out to blend? Or you can just walk around like Boo Boo the Fool and just leave your kinky leave out on top of straight hair, which I know we don't want to do. So guys, let's just be realistic when it comes to natural leave out and straight hair or curly hair, whatever kind of hair it is, you will have to apply some heat to get that hair nice and bone straight. And um, as I mentioned, the Glam Wax does act as a heat protectant to the hair. And you know, everybody has their preference. For me, I like to pass through uh, my flat iron on leave out at least twice. Tw um, the first time I just really get like majority of it straight and I like to go back in with my flat iron the second time and just, you know, get any little kink out that I probably have missed through the first pass. So I do about two passes on each section of the leave out. And as you can see, that leave out is super, super straight. You cannot tell she is natural whatsoever. And you can also use um, other heat protectants as well. If you wanna use like the Fantasia's um, oil or they have to spray as well, heating spray. Like you can use any heat protectant to press the hair out. But with the Glam Max, it gives you that nice polished and like silked look once you actually um, you know, flat iron with it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and give you guys the details now on the flat iron because I know someone is going to ask and um, I do get all of my flat irons from Walmart and like TG, TJ Maxx and everything like that. And the flat iron that I'm use, using is an Infinity um, Pro flat iron and it was about 35 bucks. Um, so very affordable and it does wonders. It gets about 450 degrees. And you know, that's pretty much what I like to use, um, any hot tool that gets that hot or even hotter. So as you see, and I just apply that wax and I just pass through with that fly iron with the comb underneath doing a chase method to press all of that leave out out. And pretty much what I'm doing to this side of the head, I would do exactly uh, the same thing to the other side as well. And then I will get into swooping uh, the baby hair and everything like that. Now, another flat iron I will use in this tutorial as well is my um, bigger flat iron. It's about two inches, if I'm not mistaken. And it's the same brand, um, the Infinity uh, Pro brand. I like to just, you know, when I went to Walmart and purchased new flat irons, I just got the bigger one, the small one, and also um, their little blow dryer as well. And I absolutely love um, their hot tools. Now, as you can see, this leave out is looking very, very fresh perm like, or as some people like to be technical, fresh relaxer. And this is what your leave out should look like over stray hair. Now, if this was curly hair, which I will do a tutorial for you as well on blending, you know, um, different different textures of hair 
with the leave out method because um yeah i know i do a lot of lace lace closure lace frontal lace this lace that but i do want to bring you guys more leave out tutorials because i'm really trying to um bring leave out back and it's so crazy because once i post it the photos of the before and after like people started booking me for simple sew-ins and stuff like that simple quick weaves without lace and i was like thank god finally i can bring leave out back because people forget like this is where we all started before lace became a thing so i just really wanted to you know bring that back out as far as for my clients and you know other people who would like to book in the future but now that I have everything all sick pressed, I'm just going in with my um, dual edge brush, which you can purchase on my side once I restock on everything and post, um, you know, more in stock products. Um, I'm just using that to just really get my part nice and straight, but in a curved way. I'm not doing a straight part. I kind of want my, cart to, uh, my parts to be curved because how I want to lay the baby hair towards the end of this video so as you can see i'm just really getting that part nice straight and curved and very like clean and once i do that i will go ahead and begin to start you know slaying those baby hairs now as i mentioned i am using um, my glamorous edges edge control i released my edge control a few years back but um i am relaunching and everything like that new packaging and everything so um stay tuned for that but right now, um, I'm just going in with the flat iron and just bend, um, not bending, but um, blending the natural leave out with the straight hair. So that's why I'm running the flat iron through the weave and the natural leave out at the same time. And as you can see, guys, um, this is my sister. And of course, she always does lace and stars, lace and stars on my channel. And as you can see, she still have all of her edges. And that's pretty much all of us. We always wear lace. And even with my other sister, when I did this style, you guys were very surprised on how long and full and how hard it just was still intact. And that just goes to show you, it's not about what you're using on your hair. Um, as far as glue and everything, it's how you remove it. You have to just remove um, your lace installments safely. And I do have my lace remover. And I also have a new product, which I didn't put on my page um, on my website yet, but I'm just going to post that later on once I restock, um, do my last restock with um, the product. So um, you will see that on there, what else you can use to um, remove or prep your lace for the next installment. So I'm just going to continue. Um, on the other hand, just pressing this hair out. And as I mentioned, this is 430 inch bundles from my raw hair collection, which you guys can go ahead and, you know, order. Now, please be mindful with all orders. Please read the shipping information, please, guys. You cannot harass me about orders one or two days after you placed it. It does take time. Even with this whole virus situation going on, it has delayed many businesses with their shipments and everything. So if you are an impatient person, just save me and you both the time and don't even place the order because I'd rather issue a refund than to be harassed about an order. Like it's all about patience. If you own a business or you're in this, you know, hair industry, you know that right now everything is going kind of crazy. They're not even allowing um you know shipments in and out they're stopping that or slowing everything down so be mindful that if you place the order at this time it will take some time to get it out to you but you will get it so uh nevertheless um once i finish pressing this out and as you can see it's looking so so freaking good and natural um i'm going to go ahead and begin to slay those baby hairs and um, another thing I did do, I just went in with the hot comb on the roots like that one, um, you know, time just to really, you know, it's like with natural leave out, you want to really make sure it's neat from the root on out. And you can actually use the hot comb first and then go in with the flat iron on the root. But I just really wanted the roots to be nice and straight. Um, you could do that. You don't have to, but I'm just showing you my way of doing things. Um, so yeah, but to each his own, you know, always do what works, uh, what works best for you. So now that I have all of that out of the way, I'm not going to go in with 
my edge brush and my beautiful hustler glamorous edges so get used to that name get used to that because you know it's going to be going down um, it's going to be released very very soon and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit right here for you guys so you guys can see what I really am doing now the same thing with creating baby hairs on natural leave out um, it's all about you know the finger motion that you go in um, you're still creating your C motions and um, see with you know with the leave out you can really bring the baby hairs as far back as you want as you can see when I created that C I kind of made like a little part like I took the very very front of my um, edge brush and like created a little part in between each baby hair and I like to do that because it gives it like a cute separation and just shows how neat the baby hairs are and I'm just adding as much more edge control as I need um, for certain areas and just making sure everything is smooth and brushed in and combed into place still going in that C motion and now I'm just going to go in and create my little sideburn there and I'm just going to take more edge control and just brush and smooth everything right behind the ear um, because I wanted to really have that pushback um, look over here. And then once I finish the baby hair, I'm just going to add a little bit of edge control to the other side um, as well and then do like the finishing touches as far as adding a little bit of pump it up spritz and, you know, my blow dryer on a heat setting just to kind of like mold everything down but I didn't want it to be like super super hard so um I did a, I did maybe three sprays but I just did like a far back general spray all around and just um blow dry all of the little flyaways and everything down I wasn't really into making it like super 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 hard where it doesn't move it was just more so on um getting any flyaways down and out the way so there it is we're going with the pump it up and i'm just spraying all over and just rubbing it down and just taking my comb and the blow dryer and just you know blow drying everything on down just to you know eliminate those flyaways and then the final thing i will do is actually um black spray the part out and you know that'll be about it and that will pretty much sum up like this little a naturally by tutorial and baby hair look but let me know what you guys think down um, below in the comments about this um, once again this is my glam wax that I use and my edge control which is coming out very soon and I also um, you know four bundles of 30 inch from my raw hair collection so um yeah just stay tuned for more videos I have more videos I will be releasing um, especially because we're going to be on this little shutdown for 30 days and everything like that. I, got, I can just try to bring you guys a tutorial a day. That is my goal. So make sure you do turn on your notifications, um, turn on your bells because it is leave out and waste time for the next 30 days. So uh, thank you guys for continuously supporting. Um, thank you guys for helping me being sold out once i restocked i sold out less than 12 hours so thank you guys so much for that and the continuous support um our orders have been shipped and yeah thank you for always supporting um i am beautiful hustler brand and see you guys next time